the drinks are on the house Welcome to uh, you being a pedal nerd, watching a pedal nerd. Henning Pauli here, uh, scratching his face with a metal pick. Metal pick. Um, this monstrosity is purple and turquoise. That's my logo colors. And Leslie decided she makes me a scarf that makes me look like an alien. That girl's awesome. So I'm wearing it. Yes. It's not silly at all. No. Um, we're looking at the Yujimata by Master Effects, which I think is a cool name and it's got a black belt. The damn pedal has a black belt. Um, it's a super mega high gain overdrive. Overdrive? No. Super mega high gain distortion. So uh, this guy actually wrote me on my channel. I think it's from Canada. I'm not actually sure. Who cares? Um, Master Effects, you can find them on Facebook. I'll find it and put it right here. Um, so, let's check out the pedal. Um, with the Hartung Embrace, that is the perfect uh, tool for this pedal. It is a very fat, super classic Les Paul sounding uh, guitar. It's the Embrace Vantage 57. Freaking awesome. Loaded with the Dario Balanced Tension 10 to 46. Uh, Wee! Um, going into the Uchimata, going straight into the Mizuboogi Mark 525 on the Clean Channel. Um, and in the effects loop, we got a whole bunch of uh, effects. We're probably going to use this drum in El Capistan if we go to some lead sounds. Uh, which brings me to all the cameras are on. And here we go with the clean sound. I cannot, uh, sadly cannot tell you what price range this thing is in because I really don't know and you shouldn't care. First you listen, then you decide, then you're like, hey, I want this. And you're like, hey, I can't afford this. But who cares? First, do you like it? So that's enough clean sound for you there. Who cares about clean? Uh, let's go low gain, which this is not what it's for. Trust me. And you're going to wonder, why does he have trouble so far down? There's a good reason. That is because this thing has a lot of trouble. It's got a three-band EQ, which technically should give you a lot of options. Uh, technically. Uh, level and gain, pretty straightforward. And it is, as I said, extremely mega super high gain. So...
please notice I'm in the front. I'm on the neck pickup. Okay. <laughs> straight up on the EQ in the bridge position which is probably your hometown for this kind of pedal <laughs> Let's play with the EQ and let's get that high end back up and see what happens. <laughs> portion of the chords it's very nice in the uh, the attack it is very very harsh so I found that I pretty much have this very very far down most of the time <laughs> you can actually use it to take it all the way down and then use it to dial in your attack because it doesn't really affect the sustain portion of the tone too much so keep it as a high-end attack knob and then it, it, it makes more sense <laughs> And as always, mids, that's kind of a... Where are the mids? Uh, are we talking about midi mids or high mids or low mids? Because it's bass, we all know where bass is. We know high end is right up there, and the mids is here or here or here. So what kind of mids are we talking about? So technically having a knob that says middle makes no sense. I never understand why there aren't two or three mid knobs on a guitar pedal or amp, like on bass amps, low mid and high mid. Uh, this is definitely in the scratchier kind of martially mid range. We're talking about 1.5, maybe 2K kind of there, maybe even a little bit higher where it gets you the definition, but not the warmth. If you have 600 to 900 hertz, that's where you have the creamy mid-range, the midsy mid-range, not the low or high-z mid-range, the midsy mids. And um, 
that's not where this is. If you have had this, then you can make notes sing with six to nine hundred. With this, you can make them bite, whereas the high end really, you know, helps with that already. So the EQ section is, uh, the, the bass doesn't add a lot of bass so that it gets too much. You can round it out a little bit. But as you can see, the EQ section, for me, you find like one spot, maybe two, that are usable. It's not this EQ, for example, like on the MXR 5150, which we're still going to look at, uh, where the EQ section is very flexible and you can actually turn turn the pedal into a lot of different kind of directions. Here, it's kind of, set the EQ to the, the one setting that works with your guitar and then forget it. it. It's not the most flexible thing. It's kind of like a one-trick pony, if you ask me. Um, let's see how much more gain we have, if we even need that. <laughs> It's very compressed up there, you notice, and in the bass frequencies, uh, more fuzzish, more kind of big muffish, a little, a little bit. I mean, big muff tendencies. Um, so and you could see when when I went back into the twelve o'clock, it uh, it seemed to change the frequency spectrum quite a bit. Um, where so you're depending on where your gain sits, you definitely have a different sound. And I'm gonna I'm gonna demo demonstrate that because you know I'm a demonstrator, with a seriously stupid scarf if I made mine. It's comfy though. <laughs> kind of nice when it's lower gain it has this high mid bite that's kind of nice when you're in the neck position <laughs> let's do some uh, let's see what can we do uh... dirty very aggressive and mean with a lot of definition in the high end not a lot of roundness in the bottom but probably very cool for dirty kind of stuff to cut through a mix if you just want to you know give your audience the finger <laughs> Other than that, I would stay in the middle here, give it some bass, roll, 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 roll off the high end a little bit, go in the back and rock the living fuck out of things. 
But with the mids where they are, this is not a modern metal sound. This is very soldano wishy kind of 80s <laughs> mid-spectrum, which brings me to this part. So, what do I think about the Uchimata by Master Effect? First of all, cool name, Uchimata! And uh, it's got a black belt, so it, this is, it kind of, that kind of sums it up. It will bash your face in, kind of with the high end that it has. Um, now imagine with this super round guitar that I had now, Im just imagine, like, a mean by the Telecaster or a, a Stratocaster or, you know, of course, only if it says Fender on it. Uh, otherwise, they're S-type or T-type guitars. Um, uh, it has its use for, you know, biting your face off super high gain sounds, but not super high gain modern sounds because that mid focus that it still has it's definitely very ADZ kind of. So I'm thinking this would be a cool pedal if you're into Soldano kind of dense high gain sounds. It can it can deliver that. You're gonna have to dial in your tone. As you can see, everything I just played at the end, the treble was all the way down. So you might even want to work with the roll off on your guitar. So I'm thinking the pedal. I'm thinking Mass Effect should probably revisit the EQ section um, and make a more effective treble knob, maybe even add an extra knob for a low pass filter. Maybe add a low pass that you can dial in in addition to the treble knob um, to roll off that high end more effectively because even with it all the way down, it's still kind of bitey. Now, if you're into that, and you like the super high gain sound and you want to, you know, scream at the top of your lungs. Master Effects Uchimata, definitely not a bad candidate for that kind of sound. Very highly, uh, very well built with the uh, jack input. It's, it's a solid, thick, not very small pedal. You can see my hand. My head. Um, recommended for those of you who want to scream. See you guys. <laughs> 